Hey guys, what's up? So for this week's video and the last video of 2018, I'm going to tell you what my 2018 was to me, how I reflected on this year, how this year changed me, how this and that, this and that, like all these things that happened. I'm going to explain it and I'm going to tell you what is in store for my channel in the coming year. I also just want to point out I am going to be doing my makeup while I do this because I have somewhere to be about, I want to say like, mm, where's my phone? I have my phone here somewhere. <laughs> I have to be, I have to go somewhere in like an hour or so. So it's either I do this and I film this another day, but I did not have another day to film this and I had to film this to get it out to you guys. So yeah, the lighting's also bad because I don't have my ring light on. I have my bedroom light on. And you're just gonna have to deal with what you're gonna deal with. You know, shitty content, but you know, still somewhat of content, you know. Okay. Without further ado, let's get started. It's kind of blinding me just a tad, but like, it's what we're gonna deal with. So, I think the first thing, I think I'm gonna start with my eyes. I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do. So, so 2018 was one of those years that was like, you know, like, what the fuck. <laughs> no better way to explain it than that. And I have no idea how I could top that. 2018 was a year I thought m some of my goals would come true, but then it, it never ended up doing. You know, what I mean by that is at the beginning of the year, I had a goal that I was going to lose weight and I was going to get a boyfriend. Maybe, maybe enroll in college, maybe. And I completed none of those. <laughs> I completed none, none of those. Like Tinder, for example. I know I did a Tinder video on here and it worked. Like, and it somewhat worked, but also it was pretty shitty. Because I would message the guys I thought, you know, were like pretty cool. Like I would scoop them out. I would find them and I would try to find the best ones I would think, you know, would be like a cute match or something. And did that ever work? No. Like, I don't know a way to explain it then these guys were like, not the best. <laughs> I think these guys truly just, you know, wanted to have sex. Like, I was so convinced. And I found one person that was you know, like a good match, and he was nice, and I think I was talking to him for like a month, a month and a half, and I told him I was a YouTuber, and he just thought I made money on it. <laughs> Thing that I thought was gonna work out, and it never did. So you know, there's that result of that. And now I rare, it will be a rare that you would see me on Tinder. It's a very rare that I will ever go on Tinder and I will ever like talk to anybody. Like everybody would just be like just wanting sex. And I don't want that. I actually want to be in a relationship first then. If I feel like I would want to have sex, I would have done it with that person. But I don't feel those types of feelings right off the bat. Like, I would like to get to know somebody first. Okay, this Jaclyn Hill palette is so pigmented. There are people out there that I like. And I haven't worked up enough courage nor confidence to ask them out. Just do it. It'll be fun. Like, you know, you're never going to get anywhere if you're, like, picky or shy or blah, 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 blah. Like, all that stuff. Like, listen, I'm not that big into being a shy person but like also I'm trying you know what I'm trying here <laughs> so eyeliners next so I don't know um things I just want to work on in 2018 with like the whole dating stuff is just like have enough courage to ask people I like out and see where it goes and I don't know. I don't know. Being in a relationship is something I've just never done before. I've been fucked over by guys, and that's partially my fault in there as well, because I don't realize that I'm picking the wrong people. I don't know. Something like that. So, um, next we're going to be talking about weight loss. Hmm. This is a very taboo and 
controversial subject. I have told, I, people have told me in my life that um, I'm probably obese and um, anything I eat is basically making me more fat and I should lose weight and I'm never going to get a boyfriend if I'm skinny and blah blah blah. Let me tell you right now, those people that are telling you that stuff and those people that have told me stuff are straight up assholes. <laughs> straight up. Like, I've asked for help this year, I just didn't stick with it because I had, you know, my channel going on, I had work going on, and I couldn't find a way to balance that stuff. I know that's, that's like two ba major things that I work on, but... I just didn't have that time and I did not have that effort to do it and that was partially my fault that I didn't do that this year and I wish I did more of it and I wish you know I could have like taken Ubers to obviously places that I got like mascara right here I could have taken Ubers to places that could have helped and I could have done a little bit more for myself but did that ever happen or work no and I wish it did and I want to really 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 go full force and go hard in it I mean like at the beginning of the year I was like so full force like eating healthy was only gonna eat junk food like once a month or treat myself in a way or I don't know something along those lines I was gonna do and I started doing that stuff and it started working but I just started failing in myself I just got this Mario Badesco um, green tea spray. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then I have a lavender one up here in my drawer. So I want to make an effort of doing that and putting myself first because I do put others first and I do help other people first. But I think I need to start putting myself first just because that's probably like the best thing. I could do for myself and 2019 in the summer I would just want to be able to confidently wear a bathing suit confidently wear crop tops confidently do this and that this and that this and that and hopefully I could do that and I'm not saying like I'm not confident in myself I am you know I can still wear that stuff just like without people in my life you know kind of like downgrading me and saying like oh like you should have done so much more to yourself like you should have like lose some weight and stuff like literally I had somebody pull me over in my family and tell me like hey like are you gonna lose weight are you gonna and I said yes I'm going to and they said oh okay like they didn't probably end up believing in me but I'm gonna prove those people wrong and um I think like a lot of different like health stuff like runs in my family and I want to get that like kind of situated with myself because like I am going to be 22 and kind of like need to start doing that stuff for me. So that's another goal in mind is to lose weight, be happy and healthy even though I am you know healthy and I am happy in my own body as it is. I think like losing some weight would actually like maybe make me a little bit more healthy and that's the probably the main reason I'm doing it because it is being healthy and having healthy living I heard like you can live longer through that and even though like it's weird that I'm talking about it when I'm like I'm legit 22 I'm gonna be 22 I should say like legit I'm gonna be like 22 and I'm saying this stuff but like you know, I just, like, I want to live a healthy life, and, yeah, <laughs> I have no other way to explain it than that. Every time I use this foundation, I have to literally blend it on my neck. Um, let's see, concealers next. Something that I think, so, another big one is lose weight and be in the place that I want to be with that. Um, something I definitely wish I could do and something I'm gonna do probably more in 2019 is is really really truly travel and 
traveling is something that I don't do very much often because uh, a time and money you know don't really have that too much intact <laughs> I'm not saying I'm broke or anything I'm just saying like it takes so much planning to do that stuff like I remember like who remembers when I wanted to go to VidCon like I really really did want to go to VidCon me and Austin we had it planned out we were gonna meet at VidCon and that never ended up working because, you know, he had stuff that was going on that I couldn't really fix and I couldn't be there for him and I wish I was. And I couldn't really do anything for that, you know? So, I want to be able to see my best friends this year that I have known for legitimately like three, four years. Ever since probably like my channel has started, I've known these people and, you know, I want to see those people and I think that's gonna definitely like I'm getting something over here and I think that's definitely a challenge I really want to make for myself and do for myself so no it's kind of really really sucks when your internet friends live so far away literally the closest one is Ronald and we were gonna see each other this break but he didn't have time and plus he was sick so that's kind of sucked for me but, you know, hopefully spring break he's coming and we're gonna film and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be great. And the only other places I've been to is probably Erie, like Lake Erie, PA. I go there every year with my family and I think I'm only starting to go now because of my grandparents because, um, you know, they're up in age and, you know, what that can mean and bring. So that's why I just really want to... That's the, pretty much the only reason I go, is because of them. Traveling is definitely on that list. Um, meeting YouTubers. Um, I never really meet YouTubers. <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> because um, nobody comes here. Like, ever. <laughs> so, hopefully, um, I know that my friends truly, truly love Trisha Paytas. I love Trisha. I've been watching her since the longest time. I pretty much have been watching Shane, and I found her through Shane. So I want to see Trish because she said in a tweet that she might come to Cleveland next year. So hopefully that works out and that comes true. Um, I know I'm starting 2019 with going to see my favorite music artist, which is another thing. And that is in the tra travel category. Whoa, kind of just like contoured my nose with like this big ass brush. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa. Um, I know that I love Panic at the Disco and I started listening to them this year with their album Pray for the Wicked. Then I listened to Death of a Bachelor and so many of their other like albums and their songs. Just like, it's amazing. And now I'm finding myself like watching interviews of Brendan Urie and Shawn Mendes and Ariana and I'm seeing all of them this year and I'm s like this upcoming year and like I'm so excited and happy about it. it. You know, that's something that I'm very happy and excited for. I'm hoping that's blended out. Yeah, it's kinda blended. I don't know. <laughs> something I want to do in 2019 is to make my makeup look a little bit better because um, now I'm going to use this highlighting palette I got from for Christmas and I'm just going to use it with another brush that I got for Christmas as well. Tap off and I'm going to spray with setting spray. Learned this from James Charles. Yeah, I think 2019, um, what I'm going to do for my channel is I'm going to start to, um, I'm going to start to do weekly vlogs and weekly vlogs is something I think will work out and be fun, great, fun and fresh <laughs> to happen and work this year basically is, I'm not going to even, I'm going to probably end up putting this on to like after the video is done. <laughs> um, so this is like almost a complete look. Let me just use some setting spray. So. <sighs> thank God. <laughs> 2018, I definitely want to do weekly vlogging and how that's going to work is one week we'll get a regular video and then the next week will be a weekly vlog from the week previous 
if that makes any sense. I'm not sticking to it. I don't know if it's going to work the whole year, but bitch, let's hope that it does because I want to commit to something and I love vlogging and I gave up vlogging and I want to come back to it because it's actually really, really fun. You know, am I going to do it in public? Probably. I don't know if I'm like in like a corner of a store or something. Um... If not, then I could find clips on my phone and I could easily just like insert it in iMovie and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, 2019 is going to be a very good year for me. I have a great feeling about it. And I'm actually going to put in an effort of the stuff that I talked about. I hope that you continue, and I just want to give a huge, big ass shout out to all my internet friends and all the people that I love and support my channel. Thank you very much for supporting me through this year, and all of you guys who keep watching these fucking videos. I have literally no idea, like, how to explain it or, like, what to do, but, like, thank you. Just thank you. So, for the two videos that basically wraps up my whole year, I would say, is I would say is logics every day because there is a line in the song called I work hard every motherfucking day yay 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 I work hard I work hard <laughs> um and I do because you know working in a job is very frustrating and very fucking like complicated at times and you don't know what to do some of the times and it is working hard every motherfucking day and you know that is basically I feel like it is basically a job for working so uh, if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe turn on a little bell notification and I'm going to be taking a week off <laughs> or a week and a half I don't know I'm gonna come back the second week of January so second week of January you're going to get a conspiracy theory because they are back season starts in uh, at I don't know January 18th I think the season starting so you're gonna get a video talking about Riverdale conspiracy theories talking about it and yeah and if you're wondering what I got for Christmas I literally got Ariana Grande tickets I got Shawn Mendes tickets I got makeup I got I got makeup got clothes got gift cards got like just numerous things. Got Ariana Grande's cloud perfume. <laughs> Let me like show you real quick. I got the cloud perfume. So, you know, I got a lot of different things. If you were wondering why I didn't do a what I got for Christmas video, but this video is getting too long. I gotta edit this in like a day or so. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in 2019, and it's going to be a great fucking year. And I hope, hopefully, it will. So. Yeah, so as always, stay strong, don't hate, just love. I heart you guys to infinity and beyond, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye so much. Bye.